Excuse me. Okay, so I think all we have to do now is just reassemble this. So, if look inside, now this is all black. It's, it's darn hard to really see inside there. But that's what's holding these clips. Let me just drop a clip in there. See what it looks like. Just out of the corner of my eye, I think I saw where it went. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, it didn't take me too long to find it. Let me show you where it ended up. Okay, so there's the potential floor. Yikes, but instead of the floor. foolishness. the simplest thing. <laughs> did, it, did it go in and jump back out there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. the switch felt so loose and wobbly. Those just sit in there. Hmm, this would be tricky to put together like this. That's not wise. Be better to put the clips on here and then drop it in. One clip here is bent open more than the others. There's like a pair of clips on each, each of these pieces, and this one here is bent open. Hey, not anymore. Good. We're going to reassemble it now. now. I think I know the method.
I don't think there's any real left and right to this. Like it's all symmetrical. squeeze that too hard. Let's test it. Which is this way. That should connect these two. And these two. But not these two. Or these two. Let me throw the switch the other way. something and this should be something and there we are and I would have been quite floored that didn't work okay so now we just need to remount it so first I'm going to clean up these holes a little bit here Pretty good. I don't see a lot of solder stuck on there, so let's let's put her in. Here we go.
good. bent out a little bit. I can still get it. Now these guys. That's the end of that. <clears throat> oh, so who wants to be first to turn it on? Well, I think I get to have that privilege here. Clean up a few things. Okay. Well, it appears like the uh, three volt battery is still connected, even though I flipped this board around and stretched the wires and stuff like that. So, why don't we just give it a shot here? Now, I can't remember which way's which here. Mm. I think that's off. Put in the power here. Here we go. Oh, I can't see. I can't get at the volume control. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's, let's flip it over. The volume control slider falling off. There we go. <clears throat> now, will it work? Will it work? Never mind that, I have to fiddle around with this piece of knob here. <laughs> okay. I must have my knob. There we go, hang on. Okay, let's see, mirrors in place. Switch appears to be off, as I recall, <coughs> the official off.
power is plugged in, but we can't be absolutely sure of the connection there yet. Volume is part way up. Switch is going on. Here we go. Okay, the good thing is the uh, digital part of the radio has come on. Could be we just don't have any power going in here. Okay, here we go. Sucked. Okay, let's try this again here. And power on. Once again, the digital part of the radio has come on. Let's see if it's actually working. Yeah, I'm able to tune it. This is good. Could I have wrecked that switch, or put it in wrong, or chances are very, very low in my opinion that I booped that switch up. Very, very low. Could it be the switch was not a problem, and now it's back in, and it's not a problem? Yeah, that's absolutely possible. Could it be I should stop talking about that and just check these voltages? See three there, yeah. Let's see fourteen Oop, right there. Yeah. Okay, let's let's try a proper restart. <coughs> Excuse me. Switch is off. Power is out. Okay, the, the three volts is removed. Even though the digital computer appears to be running, uh, I'm not sure what else to do. Okay, so these go in. Power goes on. digital portion of the radio has come on. Volume's down. Volume's down. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Here we go. Ah. <laughs> I love it when things like that happen. Okay, the volume was down the whole time. Huh? Did we miss something somewhere in there? I don't think so. Not really. Oh, it's 
smoke. Okay, let it get off. FM boy, that was. <laughs> Sure, you're jumping just as much as me now. sounds <clears throat> Yes, it is working. It is working. But why, I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that's why there's a lot of quiet in this video, because... Uh, It's, this is a real stumper, um, for me anyway, that's for sure. So, we're really only flexing four things when I'm moving that lid. It's really these two wires, or the ends, the four ends of these two wires. It's really all that's getting flexed. The wires are also coming into contact and pushing on other things as I brought the top down. So there's also that effect. But it wouldn't be very much. They're stiff, but I wasn't pushing them down that hard. That would put pressure in this area. From here. And this one will put pressure on this. This whole piece here puts pressure on here. And now the radio works uh, reliably. Well, all I can do is turn it off. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's off. Yeah, that's off all right. I should grab one of my hammers and I'll show this radio what off means. Man. I just want to let it kind of wait and see if it'll kind of wear itself out somehow or something, but no. Well, this cannot be because of the switch. So, the radio goes on and off because of voltages supplied to those transistors. Isn't it grounding? You know what? I am worn out. I'm worn out. This radio has worn me out. And I'd turn it off if I could. I'm just going to have to rip out its power. You're darn lucky it came on just now, that's all I can tell you. Because my friend is in town. Remember that. I am worn out, but I am too intrigued by this craziness here. Well, let's see. Uh, I was just going to kind of look at the idea that <clears throat> you switch on the transistor by pulling down the base voltage. Q27 should have a base voltage of 3.7. Q27. Base voltage of 3.7. Q27. That's the farthest to the left. 3.7 There we go. 4.7 See, that doesn't sound right, does it? I've done this before. Now, I just moved the switch. Nothing has happened. 4.9, it's gone up. <laughs> I 
or if the input voltage is too high and it overwhelms the uh, circuitry. There's a theory. It's as good as anybody else's. So, since I'm the only person here. Okay, we're going to reduce reduce the input voltage to a lower setting. It is notoriously bad. Variable, you know, universal power supplies. Back in. I hear nothing. Turn off. Oh, it is off. Okay, turn it on. Point seven. Look, look what it is. Wow, two point seven five. Three, four. That's supposed to be four point four there. So we're all low now. It's reasonable to think, well, maybe low, maybe it won't work. Yeah. Okay, I'll put it back up. <laughs> It says 4.5 on the uh, on it, but I think it's quite a bit higher actually, closer to six. And radio's off. Power in. Radio on. Play is working properly. Three point seven. It's four point seven again. the 14 just as it should be yeah I think it's time to call it uh, quits here <laughs> yeah because uh, tomorrow's another day and this radio is going to be sitting here ready to taunt me some more I give away huge, huge portions of my time in the universe to it. Terrible. See you on the next video.